Thank you, sir. 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 about how much money we have spent in last 50 years on flood relief as well as on drought relief sir i remember when we were student we used to always hear of a scheme linking all rivers of india there is a scheme of linking ganga with kaveri there was also a scheme called garland scheme which was a plan called dastur plan which would have linked all the rivers of the country and would have helped in not only i will making available the scarce water which is now very scarce but also probably preventing flood and situation arising there from sir probably this would also help in the national integration would have solved many problems including availability of food the ministry which he presides over and also help in creating large number of jobs in rural india this should also prevented spending money on problems arising out of over urbanization sir i wish that the government also comes out with a white paper on this issue about how much money has been spent and what action could be initiated now though it is late better late than never that we should start an action plan on that count so i am more particularly concerned though it's a national issue i am also concerned about an issue arising in maharashtra which also unfortunately has to face a situation of flood and drought in many parts of our state so i come from a constituency come from a place called konkan which is a area on the shore of the sea so we always get floods also because there is a the water which comes from sea into the villages which are inhabited by fishermen so the flood relief operations that are really necessary many times cannot be undertaken because of certain regulations from the central government so you may be aware that there is a regulation which is arising out of judgment of the supreme court which prevents any structures to be erected on shores from the from the point from where the sea touches up to 500 meters from there so this has also caused tremendous hardships to the fishermen because they cannot even erect a structure if their old structure is dilapidated because of passage of time sir i would request the honorable minister sir actually so also i would like to draw your attention earlier in the day we had decided that even the minister for surface transport also will be present here so that the debate could be he could also participate in the debate i don't know whether that minister also is present in the house besides the minister for food sir would request also the minister concern to look in here but also minister for surface transport is for the request made sir i am aware that the environment has to be protected at any cost but also the lives of millions of people who are solely dependent on fisheries as their activity also should be protected and there has to be wire media which has to be found whereby our fishermen who are really living there for more than 100 500 years only because this 500 meters supreme court judgment should not come in the in the so that they cannot even erect a small structure and carry out their activities the fishermen cannot carry on their activities on a hill top they have to necessarily live there so this problem also needs to be looked into because the floods damage the lives and the source of livelihood very badly every year so there have been instances in maharashtra wherein the central relief which comes to a state is determined by the provisions of the finance commission so i am aware that there is resources are very scarce and we cannot really keep on giving money doling out money to the extent to which it is demanded but any natural calamity when it takes place where it is in rajasthan where it is in west bengal or whether it is where whether it is in assam or in maharashtra sir the magnitude of the calamity differs because we cannot really foresee the finance commission which makes a report once in 5 years cannot really sit on judgment about what could be the damage that could be caused in the next 5 years there are not profits they can only make financial allocations so we must have some sort of a norms which enables the central government to come to the rescue of the state governments in the event of 
a major calamity which could arise. I, was, I would definitely like to share the sentiments of my other friends from other states who are really, their lives are devastated because of major national calamities and would request the minister to make a policy in such a manner that it also remains flexible and not only determined by the provisions of the Finance Commission alone. Sir, there is, there is a need to have an integrated policy because these water, water resources, which are really not something which is not going to keep, keep on increasing with the passage of time, but likely to deplete with more population, more urbanization, and more demands on the already available water. So I would request the minister to make flood relief operation as a part of overall operation, wherein utilization of water becomes a center point of our planning. And also, we should spend more money on planning a water resource availability rather than curing it by making flood relief as our thrust of our activity. Thank you, sir.